All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here with me and Hat Mike. The, this is actually my friend Nick. I don't want to call him Hat Mike. I want you guys to know his real name, even though you guys are going to call him Hat it's, Mike. Yeah. Um. So I have a stipulation here. I have a couple stipulations, actually. Uh, do you want to do any of these? We can do... Uh, let's do whatever, man. Whatever you're up to. Oh, Cough the Hammer! That guy's my favorite guy! <laughs> you could probably take it down just a little bit. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of having you here, but I don't want to get scared because of it. <laughs> so, we'll just do the Nick, we'll just do a Nick draft today. You want right. to just take, we'll yeah. take whatever you want. Yeah, dude. How's that? All right, let's, all right, I like it. What are we taking, this guy? Yeah, let's, I like Call the Hammer. You I pick. mean, I feel like he's going to wheel, but. He probably will wheel, yes. Yeah, but. I feel like it's. I, I don't care, man. <laughs> when I, when I cube draft, I take the card I like, and then I just let the draft take me wherever it takes me. Just say called the hammer. Okay, that's that's all that's all I really <laughs> need to hear. Huh. Hmm. Lots of things here. This Lots guy's good. This guy's colorless. Ooh, yeah, dude. We can cast. We can him ramp with, it yeah, with Cough of the Hammer. Ooh. Actually, turn five. If you play only five mountains, that's a turn five Ulamog, right? Yeah, that you is. You add five for for the, for the five mountains, then you tap the five mountains. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. Do you want alternate picks? You want to do that? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So me and Mike did the same thing, but we didn't look, right? So, yeah. like, I wouldn't know what he picked. He wouldn't know what I picked. But if that's you kinda, That's kind of pointless because, like, I'm going to, like, remove my hand. I'm going to be like, oh, you picked. No, we wouldn't see. Like, we would have the cards hidden until the end of the draft. Oh. So I would have no idea what he took the whole draft. And then I would just draft based on what I knew. And he would draft based <laughs> on what he knew. And then we'd put the deck together at the end. It was good times. I'm going to take this Ulamog, though. All right. I like Ulamog. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of want to take Magus of the Moon. It I makes, was thinking the makes, same thing. I was it like, makes all our lands mountains. Don't we want to just play mountains anyway? <laughs> Even if we played another color, they're all mountains now. Yeah. Oh, we're doing that. Hmm. I kind of like Hazard here. I do too. It's basically just a cough, right? It's just another cough. Yeah. <laughs> big, <laughs> big angry cough. <laughs> do you not think cough is big and angry? No, nah, he's, like, in that picture, he's, like, really tame. Like, if, if if this was, like, the dual decks art where he's, like, real mad, I'd say That's he's getting true. angry. There is a, yeah, there is an anger level difference from the two. Uh, just I'd hop in from an ass if I could mail a green ski mask to a PO box so you can stream with just your eyes and mouth visible. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Hold on, Recon Team Bravo, are you... Oh, oh God, this robot is attacking oh, me. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a little dumpling going around. He's attacking me. That's, he's, yeah. That's, he's, he's actually just... That's a little dumpling, the robot vacuum. He's, he's running into my foot. Yes, I'm actually going to... I'm going to try to set up a P.O. box so you guys can send stuff. Even if it's just junk, and then I can do, like, some unboxings. I can do, like, some, some I-dubs bad unboxings on on magic things. Oh. Oh, my lord. <clears throat> it's my turn? Um, yeah. Yeah, I took Azeroth. Holy cannoli... I mean, I want to take Lightning Bolt because we already have, like, all these big, dumb idiots that we're going to kill people with. Yeah. But how can I pass up the biggest, dumbest idiot? I don't know. I don't know how you could. Eh, just, can you? Just take Lightning Bolt. That Inferno Titan is... We're, we're fine without it. Oh, I got like this chicken, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did that one get you? Yeah. <laughs> it was just so immediate. <laughs> Look at this beautiful chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy, cause there's also no other red cards in the pack. Chicky chicky farm farm. Huh. Well, this is a pack. Yeah. I feel like it's safe to take one of these dual lands. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I kind of. Uh, how do you feel about Tanglewire? You hate Tanglewire too. Everyone I draft with hates Tanglewire, but I love Tanglewire. I don't know if this is a Tanglewire deck. It's not. It's definitely not. You just want it cause it's colorless. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this guy's basically two lightning bolts as well, just so you know. That's true. Um, let's take... Uh, let's take steam vents. I was, that's a good choice. I was gonna, I was gonna recommend the steam vents. Oh, we got a gruel signet. Oh, do we just, do we just go all in? <laughs> we go all in with our, uh, Koth Nickel Bolas. Megas of the Moon deck? 
probably just Signet here, right? We got a bunch of four drops. I would say Signet or Field of Ruin. Um, hey, look, because we took that cough, nothing came back. <laughs> uh, it's got to be this. Yeah, it's wear and tear. It's wear and tear. It's mostly just wear, but you know. Yeah, we might tear something. Sounds like you need to see a doctor, good sir. Uh, so was it Char or Wildfire? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess Joy. We have a Steam Vents, but I don't know how good that's gonna be. Uh, I think we kind of want. Like, the char over the wildfire, because... Because it's playable, and wildfire is probably not that playable. Yeah, we also want our lands, and that makes <coughs> us not have lands. I do want our lands. I want to cast this. Yeah. Mm, acidic slime, maybe? Wait, whose pick is this? Mine? I think we kind of lost... Yeah, I think it's my pick. You, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me. Okay, yeah, go for it. Mark this yourself. robot is attacking my foot. Take slime. <laughs> Uh, oh, did we take progenitus? <laughs> yeah, we can... Uh, uh, I'm just going to take Genesis Wave. Maybe we're a green... Wow, all right. Oh, no, it's your pick. Oh, so. it's my pick. I was like, boy, this is, this is a lot harder than, than, than I thought. Master Wild Hunt. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Maybe we're a green red deck. We also have the Signet. We, sure. We're very much a green red deck. Yeah, apparently all the all the red cards came, so or the green cards came, so sure. Where's the power at? It's gone. I don't understand. Man, there's a scarab god in this pack. I'm sad. Why? Because you want that? Yes, dude, scarab god's. We got awesome. steam vents, bro. We can just audible to Grixis. <laughs> yeah, but we passed the nickel bullets. Um You're correct. This robot is very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to get to know you, man. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so if we're sticking with the red stuff, I would say Grim Lava Mancer. It's so bad, though. Yeah, it's very bad. It's not uh, good. Vindicate is my favorite card in this pack. Um, what about Treachery? I do like Treachery. And if we do end up being like a little more blue. I like Treachery. Uh, yeah, like, I think it's strong enough to... Yeah. Valley Man, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Three months in a row. Nice, nice. Oh, Grim Monolith. I like that. I don't even know whose pick it is right now. I think it's yours. <laughs> yeah, because that was the treachery know. pick. Yeah. Sure. I'll take a Monolith. That's basically like Power Light. It adds three mana when you tap it. Did you know that? What? I know. No way. Get out of town. If we get an Ophiomancer, do you have to take it? Because it's Snake. Yeah. Yeah, I like Snake. <laughs> I, I know you do, buddy. Uh, I know you do. So, I want to take Stormbreath Dragon, kind of, but there's Olivia, which is also one of my favorite cards. We don't have any black whatsoever. I know. I, know. I think this is a perfectly fine yeah, pick. Stormbreath Dragon is, like, awesome. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, that's the good one, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking that. Make sure there's nothing else. I, I like this Emrakul, but no, that's a good Chandra. Yeah. If my if Rob is Swole Mike, is this... No, this is Hat Mike. I mean, he's... I, I do have, like, a wool cap and... Thick rim glasses. Uh, That's true. I don't hate this metal worker. We don't have a lot of metal. We have two metals right now. We don't. Yeah, two metals plus that guy. Well, we're gonna. So, he's just gonna be a one-two. Upheaval. We can make two with Chandra. We can make mana with Koth. We got yeah. Grim Monolith, and this could be an upheaval deck. Let's take upheaval and see what happens. Oh, I like it. I like. I like where your head's at. Oh, Boros Signet? That's an on-color Signet. Yeah, it's an on-color Signet, and if we're an upheaval deck, Signets are good. Oh, I like it. This deck's really coming together, surprisingly. This looks like a <laughs> Rafellos. I agree with you. If we see a Rafellos, we're snatching that dude up. Did we pass one? Yeah, I was going to say, that dude's gone, isn't he? Dang. Uh... This pack's kind of meh. Yeah, I mean, take the Signet. Yeah, because... that's what I'm thinking. It was either that or Sower, but... like. We'll, we'll play a Signet if we're an upheaval deck. Don't tell me what to do. You're not All my right. dad. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, you're my dad. Yeah, that's right, son. I'll just take Searing Spear. Yeah, yeah just... It's whatever. We can we can maybe kill our opponent with it. Why is Hazaret not on the signboard? I don't know, because I want to kill people with it? <laughs> Nerd. Mono Red Signet Tribal, what? <laughs> that's right. 
That's right. Oh, hey, Grim Lava Master's back. Wow, to the surprise of no one. <laughs> Who saw that coming? I'll just take that. Yeah, get him out of here. Does Hat Mike like tacos? Uh, yeah, tacos are good. Who doesn't like tacos? Yeah, I mean... I've never met someone who's like, eh, I'm kind of on the fence with ta about tacos. I've actually never met that person. Oh, Avalanche Riders. I do like Avalanche Riders. That's not bad for the, uh... The Up People deck, right? Yeah. We just ride on their we're ride on their lands, <laughs> ride on their avalanches. Riding on their avalanches. <laughs> Seven more signets, and we can snap our fingers and eliminate half of magic existence. Is that what it takes? Ten signets? Uh, my name in the chat is Monk HB. I occasionally pop in. To say hi. He does a pop in. Pop pop. That was a good uh, magnitude you did there. Oh, a de a desperate ritual. Otherwise known as d -Rit. Oh, what? Look at that! Oh, look at—he subbed while he's on this on the actual stream. Unbelievable. One KHB, thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, what a swell guy. Wow, that guy's the hero we need. <laughs> Not sure if he's the one we deserve. I'm gonna take this sword, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't take sword, this. Swords are good. We can uh, can we can I, hook up our cough mountains. We, with can, them. we can keep getting back Avalanche Rider. <laughs> oh, what if we get like. We're secretly twin combo. Yeah. There's like so many rituals here. What's going on? Yeah, I don't care about either of these, I guess. Actually, we can just cast this off of the signet. Dude. <clears throat> Ooh, secret tech. <laughs> combo! Oh my god, one of my favorite planeswalkers came back. That guy's always last pick. It's sad, because he's my favorite. I thought I was your favorite. Oh, Mox Ruby? On color Mox? The most perfect Mox we could have opened? I also want this volcanic island, but I'm gonna take the ruby. Yeah, take that. That's that's like a second land. That's. <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally like a second land. Ooh, ooh. This is where all the good cards were. Oh, mana drain into upheaval seems pretty pretty gross, right? Are we are we casting mana drain? I don't. Well, we have no real incentive to be this heavy black, yeah. this heavy red. Yeah. Like we could just be straight blue red. Yeah. This right. this is this card's power, man. This yeah. is basically power. <clears throat> uh, I like Mole Drifter. I don't know whose pick it is. I think we're just yeah. Like we're we're just, just kind of taking cards now. We're looking at cards. We're like, eh, whatever. I mean, Mox <clears throat> Mox Ruby and Mana Drain are pretty easy picks. I think. Yeah. Uh. I mean, it's either Mole Drifter or Flame Tongue. Uh, Flame Tongue, I think, and I like Mole Drifter more. Same. I just wanted to hear you say it. I just wanted to hear you say it. Mana Flare helps cast Ulamog. It also helps cast us Upheaval. If you can go Mana Flare into Upheaval, it seems pretty good. I think you just win that game if that happens. Man, I can't wait till we hook up a, uh, a cough mount with a sword and hit someone with it. That's all I've ever wanted to do with my life. Oh, <clears throat> more Signets. Oh, Red Snapcaster Mage. Oh, oh Fire Blast. <laughs> oh, Repeal. Oh, Fraley. I mean, I'd play this over the Celestian <laughs> Signet for sure if yeah. we picked it. Oh, Hostage Taker. We're just Owen cards, right? Oh. Honor of the Pure. <laughs> Putrid Imp. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I mean, let's let's take Signet. We got enough blue for me to be happy with it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Oh, Electrolyze and Thirst for Knowledge? Oh Those look pretty good. I wish we took Blightsteel Colossus, because we have so many Signets and there's a Goblin Welder. He, yeah, but it shuffles back in. Oh, God, you're right. Never mind. That I'm guy, glad we didn't that take guy it. Never, that guy's never staying in the graveyard. You're right. I'm the dumbest. No, it's okay. That's a right. that's an easy mistake to make. Uh, that's a little... That, you just made chat lethal in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's all that happened. Uh, I mean, Thirst. Yeah. Like, we, we have a lot of... I agree. We have four Mana Rocks. Dig through time. That's a good card. Oh, Hang Hangarack Walker's not yeah. bad either, especially with a lot of mana. Yeah. What about Gorger? You like Gorger? D uh, yeah, you know, it gives all our vampires madness, and I like that. <laughs> Which is really the relevant part, I think. Is it was yeah. it was it Digger Hangerback? You think? Uh, I think Hangerback. I we want my Hangerback, Hangerback, Hanger. We also don't have many cards that are going to the graveyard. Uh. Tamio the Moon Sausage. Mizium Morts. We could be a Mind's Desire deck. We have one whole. Ritual over here. 
Storming off. <laughs> Mine's desire for two. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, mortars, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we have ways to win, but yeah, we don't not, actually have a lot of a, removal. Yeah. Oh. Actually, this guy's very good main deckable. Yeah. Very good main deckable. That's a sentence I just said. Uh, yeah. Let's let's take. A vandal. Yeah, I'd play this guy. Let's vandalize some stuff. Oh, this uh, is a better sword. Yeah, I like that sword. To, to equip on our... Our cloth mountains. Yeah. We need one cut right now. We probably can cut something pretty easily because we... Uh, we were looking at our deck differently at first. No, I like all these cards. Oh, Pestermite's not great if we didn't get the actual Splitter Twin. And I like sword because even if we don't have... Like, we have <clears throat> cloth that does make mountains. Uh... Oh, we have steam vents, yeah, actually. Yeah, grabs our steam vents, yeah. so that's fine. The Volcanic Island didn't come back, as you may have noticed. Weird. Kavu, though. Kavu. We got Kavu and Mole Drifter. Both cards I was on the fence about. I like Kavu better than Char. Yeah, me too. I think Char is pretty much terrible unless you're the Mono uh, Red. There. Let's take Honor of the Pure because it buffs our everything. I was going to take Putrid Imp because it, it's a good... You know what? I don't care. I'll take Honor of the Pure because <laughs> it buffs our everything. Uh, let's take Faith Stars because it gains life. <laughs> These are good reasons. Let's take Arbor Elf because we might, we, uh, We actually oh. will just board into the green deck. <laughs> 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 like you do. I mean, we have a Gruul Signet and a Celestia Signet. It's not that out of the realm of possibility. Also, we have two, two white Signets. We could just board in this Faith Fetters if we need it. Yeah. Actually, it's good for the Wear Tear as well if we board that in. Oh, a Temple Garden. There we go. <laughs> How convenient. And we can get it with the Wooded Foothills. Man. Everything just worked out. So this is our 23 cards. <laughs> is this our deck? Probably. <laughs> oh, we forgot the Mox Ruby. Dang, that's that's good. This Ooh. deck actually looks pretty reasonable, which is surprising because... I'm I'm at the helm. <laughs> well, no, because we first picked Koth. Um, Listen. In a real willy-nilly mind frame. Listen. You can never go wrong with Koth and the Hammer. No, no, sometimes you can. I, I've never gone... That's loud. That was loud. I've never gone wrong with Koth the Hammer. I've Really? Is I've, that true? I've won every draft I've drafted with Koth the Hammer. How many have you drafted with him? I don't know, like one. Okay. <laughs> I'm one for one right now. About to Six, be two for seven. two. This is eight blue and eight, nine, 11 red. That's actually pretty good. 11 seems like more than enough red. Not including these four signets. Actually, we could probably play 16 lands here with three, four, two mana... Yeah. Rock'em, Sock'em, Robots. <laughs> what do we add, though? Nothing's great. If a deck that... <laughs> hey, man. Koth is real good. Oh, he's going to be quitting Magic, then. I'm going to I'm gonna actually restart Magic right now. I'm going to save this deck. Uh, because it's doing a thing where, like, I can't zoom in, which is super frustrating. Yeah, that's smart. So I'm just going to start it now before. Valley Man, I have, have... One for one, have some statistical bits. Appreciate it. I love statistical bits. Have you seen the um the animation when when bits come in? Oh, uh, the, the Mike B. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a classic, you might say. You might say that. You don't have to, though. I, no one's, no one's forcing it. I'm thinking it. about saying it. It's, it's It is a classic. Can you say it, then? It's a classic. It's a uh, Nick... ASMR classic draft. Let's quit that one. Hey chat, would you uh, would you be okay if I did a whole draft just in this voice, just whispering into your ears? Would I, be, I would be. Would it be weird? Would it be cool? Let us know what you think. There is no stipulation currently. That is just a previous stipulation. <clears throat> All right, so. <clears throat> Violing, what's going on, buddy? You definitely did. You came in at the uh, the ASMR moment. All right, what are we doing here? All right, we were contemplating cutting a land for something. Yeah, we don't really have that much, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, we could dub sword. We could, I mean, that uh, wear and tear is like. I was thinking of that actually. I was thinking wear and tear. Yeah, wear and tear is like good in the main deck here, right? I think Weird Tear is probably the card that we want the most. Uh, we can also cast the White Half off of Azura Signet and Boros Signet. So oh, it looks like everything we panned can, out. We can definitely Man. fuse the... Uh, the 
<laughs> oh, I think we're definitely doing that. All right, I'm gonna cut one mountain then. Oh, good times. This is amazing. Let's do it. All right. Are you ready, Nicholas? Uh, yeah. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna either uh, beat all of our opponents, um, beat some of our opponents, okay. or not beat any opponents. Huh. That does seem like uh, an analysis. Yeah. I can see why they got you to analyze things. I I do analyze things. Yeah, you're a real analyst. For a living. Oh, this hand is... Um, really good? Yeah. I'm keeping it. Mox on top. Or a land. I'll take a land, too, you know. Mox on top. Actually, Mox on top would be better, because that's turn two of this. Do we keep this hand? Any land in the first two turns is very, very good, and we're on the draw. Yeah. Are you? What do you think? I'm. Listen, man, you're talking to the guy that kept a zero land with Tron and then still assembled Tron on turn three. YOLO. Are you going to judge me if I said the last hour before waiting for your session? I, like, uh, I judge you only because it's weird to just listen to it during the day for no reason. I, mean, I feel like it's more of a sleep thing, right? Like, I mean, you're having a stressful day at work. Maybe, like, you need something to calm down. All right, maybe that's true. That's fair. I'm going to keep it. Keepies. Also, they mulligan to seven, so we can't even... It's basically like we can't lose. Uh, oh, I'm a big uh, fan of you, love, when you were singing. <laughs> oh, are you ready? Oh, wow. Well, does that do anything? Not really. I mean, we can't... Up Dude, we're gonna upheaval in six turns anyway. Oh my god, I thought they were gonna miss a land drop. I'm like, did you just keep Leyline of Sanctity and <laughs> a land opening hand? Land. We're good at this game. It's also mana drain mana. Ooh. So do we we're not playing the Cigna on turn two, then we're just we're just keeping that out. Right. I don't know, actually. I don't think we care about mana draining something that this early. That's fair. I'd rather mana drain like a 5 or a 6 drop. Yeah, and then we can cast Cloth of the Hammer and have him untap one of our islands. Well, that's unfortunate that they did uh -oh, that. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> Mountain. Mox. Wow, we're doing so good at this. We're doing so good. Yeah, I don't care about any of these things. All right, so our, our keep was very, very good here. Wow. Look at that. We are very good at this game. Very, very good. One pound fish. One might even say we're the best. Around? And no one is going to keep us down. I can get behind that. I don't like that voice. What, my voice? Wow, no, that's rude. No, that voice. I don't hear anything. No, it's the name of that guy. You don't know that guy's name? Hey, a mountain. I think we should avalanche right here. Yeah. I want to. Th I want you to think about like how dangerous it is to actually ride down an avalanche like that guy's doing. Like he's just on a rock. He's like, "Sup, man? I'm riding down this." Who cares? Yolo. I see. I see an. I'm a simple man. I see an avalanche. I ride it. <laughs> Do you think that's why he has echo? Because he's like riding down the avalanche. And and if you don't pay echo cost, like that's him wiping out. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's like, oh, I didn't make it down the mountain. Oh man, Corsair crew fix. Boring. I'm gonna torch that thing, dude. We can we can tear it. Tear it? We don't even have that card in our hand. But we can get when we do get it in our hand, we can. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Oh. No, I'm good. Well, that doesn't do anything. How <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> still gonna play it. Yeah. And then we still can keep drain up. So they're drawing a forest. Good to know. Oh, a Thalia. No one cares about that. No one does care about that. No one. Important to note, when we mana drain something, isn't he going to uh, get a voice token? Yeah, but then we're going to upheaval. So oh, yeah, that's I'm right. Gonna we're going to upheaval. Peace out, voice token. Man, you're smart. Yeah, I was born in the Hinterland Harbor. That's where the intelligence lives. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Thank you. I think that whole statement is indicative of the smartness, really. Thanks for, uh, yeah, that's, you're smart, man.
How'd you get to be so smart? Smart man. <laughs> they go, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we if we manage to this, we get two. Yeah. Then we can go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have two extra, so we'll have two floating. We'll play a land for the turn. So we'll have three total mana. I'd really like to act. Oh, we can activate Chandra next turn, too, actually. Yeah, like, Chandra's going to live because we want it to live. Because we want it to live. I guess we just exile. Mox? That'd be gas. Oh, um, well, dang it. Could have killed that. Shh, this this courser of Krufy. Robot well, looks like it's having a hard time with life. Little dumplings getting around. She she's doing her job. All right. Yeah. I mean, she I, she is doing her job. Yeah. I'm like, there's no argument there. Running into my foot again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, natural order on top. I mean, they're not casting that because we're gonna upheaval them, right? They can still cast it. We gotta manage right in this, right? Yeah. It from stops us from, from upheaving. Up. That's true. I'll say a little prayer for you. Alright, so you have no cards that I know about in hand. And they also have to recast this Thalia. Yeah. Or Leyline, rather. I called it a Thalia. It, it's basically Thalia. I'm just gonna block here. Yeah. Magus the Moon's not doing a lot for us, and... Actually, there's no real reason to block, because we're going to bounce this anyway. So, we're just throwing away Magus of the Moon if we do that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, this is Upheaval City, buddy. Whoop! That was actually a good draw. We can probably pay, we can play both now. Oh, we can actually play the Chandra and then Boros Signet. Yeah. Oh, that's real good. Um, Let's add two manners. That's good manners. Upheaval. Use this, this one, two. Oh, what? No! Why didn't we tap that? Oh, that's frustrating. A little frustrating. I'm frustrated. Yeah, I have no idea why that was not tapped. I'm sad about it, though. It's okay. I mean, we missed out on one Azoria Signet, but... That's a big deal, though. That's a real big deal. Yeah, but, like, so, I mean, we're still very, very far ahead. We're fine, I think. Water, Ley Line, Courser, s Voice, Spirit. Don't forget the voice token that's in Forest, hand. Forest. <laughs> That, that's not a thing that he has, Nicholas. Well done. I think they're just going to have to disengage. It wasn't that well done because we friggin' missed the signal. Watch, we're going to draw a call off and then we're going to be real... Actually, we can play pretty much anything with yeah, Chandra. exactly. Like, I don't think we have anything that costs more than six other than Ulamog. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Violated Gorilla, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Um, we just exile here. We could add two and play Signet Vandal. I don't want to do that. Well, we would have to d destroy our thing. It's not Bay Ability, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're right. So we're not doing that. Oh, no. Ma Magus of the Moon, rather. Not, not Vandal. Okay. Just an island? All right. That's fine. That's two damage. I'm okay with that. I think it's just Magus here. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Be, I don't care about no. Casey's trying to get fancy playing some, uh, some fancy spells. Also, I feel like we're uh, in a good position to ultimate this Chandra. Yeah. And then we can start lava. Ooh, hello. Hello, friend. <laughs> Let's add two red. Could have played Boros Signet. I'm playing really loose here, and I don't know why. Ooh, hello, friend. Yeah, we're just going to ultimate this next turn. I've wasted so much mana this game that it's not even funny. That's cool. It's not. It's not cool. It is not cool. They should have played Selfless Spirit to it. Yeah, to... To threaten the Chandra, but now we ultimate, so... Alright, so they played Forest Forest Plains, which is what we knew about. There's the Spirit. There's the Voice. We're gonna start Lava Axing him with Boros Signets. They yeah. discarded Courser, and they kept Leyline. That's interesting. Is this when you... Whenever you cast, deals 5 damage to any target? 
Yeah. So if they play ley line, it's rough. But it, we still just kill all their things, right? Yeah. Ooh, Koth. Love the hammer. That was a bit excessive. I'm not a fan of you anymore. Oh. We could play land, shoot this, uh, cast sword and equip, and then attack, and then play like Koth afterwards. I wonder if that's good. Is, is Emblem just infinitely stronger here? Emblem just kills them, right? Yeah, like, Emblem will eventually kill them. We can do We can actually probably kill them now. Yeah. So, one, two. Boros Signet. Deal you five. Koth. Play the Koth. Deal you five. And then we minus and kill them with sword. Well, they're going to be at seven, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Still, I mean, we're still doing that. Yeah, just... Creatures... Creatures don't mean anything when we're throwing lava axes at his mouth. Did we play a land this turn? I'm going to laugh if we didn't play a land. Okay, we did. I was like, did we not play a mountain? Because that'd be real bad. Yeah. At that point, I'd be like, oh, we're real bad at magic. I'll people into Chandra seems real good. Oh, I don't want to attack, because then they just block with Selfless Spirit. I'd rather just keep Koth alive, because it's just better than not keeping Koth alive. They're going to play Leyline here, which is fine. And and they're going to die. Well, no, because we can't target them anymore. Yeah, but we're going to... Kill the Selfless Spirit and then shoot them? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um... I mean, they're at two, right? They're just, they're just, they're just dead. Yeah, that's a weird. That was a weird attack. I mean, there's not a zero mana spell that like kills all our creatures, right? I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Okay. I mean, I don't know, dude. It's been a long time since I. Oh, he he conceded. He realized. We got the GG. Okay. Dude, our deck is sweet. Yeah, apparently when you up people into Chandra, into Ultimate Chandra, it's not bad. It's not bad. They just committed Sudoku. That's true, they did. A little Sudoku. I like Sudoku. Hey, man. Hey. I like your hat. Thanks. I like it, too. How you feeling, hat, Mike? I feel very good. Very good? Yeah. It's aggressive. We, we won with a cough and a Chandra. And we made our opponent put all their cards from the battlefield into their hand. That's where my cards go. Yeah. Wow, Hunter's getting real upset. This whole room is full of noises. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'll keep this hand. Uh, yeah, this hand's a good one. What if we top deck a Signet turn to either one of these? It's pretty good. Yeah. I've won many games off of casting Koth early. Okay, so... You, I don't think you could have won that many games because you already admitted that you've only played one draft. Well, I've I've played Koth in other formats besides Cube. Okay. Here we go. Look at was all this. He, was he fast bonding? He's playing lands, taking damage, playing... Oh, that guy's good. They have two cards left in their hand, though. Ah, uh, yes, Island. I'll say a little prayer for you. Is there any card we can draw that lets us cast these next turn? I don't think so. Oh, Rishkar. Why aren't either one of these artifacts? Um, so when Wizards designs cards, they, um, I don't know. Okay. They just, they just pick things that they should be, and, uh, they were like, you know, this would probably not be a good artifact. Huh. Yeah. They have one card in their hand? Yeah. I feel like this Phoenix is just gonna really go to town here. Oh, look, now they can activate their... This is a lot of damage, though. They attack for nine here? This is a really strange game. It was an 83-person draft, Frank, <laughs> and I went undefeated. God, you're amazing. I don't like this because they can actually exile the Phoenix with the stupid scavenging ooze. Oh, that's sad. I agree with you. And they're all three threes and three fours, so this Muldrifter isn't even great. 
Uh, we have no reason to divination. Like we're gonna, we know what we're gonna play next turn and the turn after that. So, like, also by playing divination, we're we're dead, right? Yeah, they just actually eat the the mole drifter and they get another point in there. So it's like there's just no real reason to do that. Like if we needed a turn four play, we'd we'd, we'd mole drifter for no for no value. But I mean, we didn't. So I'm a man named Morgan. Chick name I chick name I get just had a customer email me and stated, "Hey Mallory, okay, that's interesting." Oh, chick name I get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh uh oh. I see. Uh -oh. I just dropped a thing. Things are happening everywhere. I'll mold for you for value. Okay, that's fair. This is not looking good for our heroes. I hope they attack with this. Actually, this is better for... Well, it's not better for us, but it's better in the sense that, like, now they can't activate this, so we're only taking three this turn. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Attacking with the scavenging ooze is such gas! It's such a, such a great play for us! Things are looking up for our heroes. Wow, if they only attack with Rishkar, then we can't really block because then they just eat our scaven they eat our chicken. Now we just get our chicken back. <laughs> wow, that was good for us. Boy, this cough is really uh it's really shit in the bed here. He would he would have been good. Would have been when? Uh, not now, but some sometime in life. One day. Why isn't it until your next turn? This is what back when planeswalkers are really bad. I'm just gonna play this guy, and you know, yolo it. I should play the steam vents, but I don't like how. I was assuming we'd play Koth, and then we didn't. So. I mean, we probably should have played Koth minus, and then played Manic Vandal, I guess. Yeah, but then Koth just dies. Yeah, that's fair. All right. All right. They're getting aggressive here. But I'm still alive. Oh, they have... They have Mommy. This is fine. We still get to kill a guy. We take three. And then we get our, our chicken back. Oh, really? You're going to do that to turn after I play Manic Vandal? Real mature. Oh, that's an amazing draw. Wow. So long, Mom. You're dead. Wow, that was a good draw. Hi, Hat Dad. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a good draw. Holy smokes, dude. Remember that time we actually were able to block both their guys profitably and still get a chicken back? Yeah, I do. Uh, the noise in the background, if you're hearing it, is the electric vacuum. Yeah, it's it's a robot. It's getting very friendly with me. If you know what I mean. It's it's just running into my feet. Ooh. This is smart. That we also is... could play the vents tapped, played Koth, made four mana, then played Kavu. I mean, I guess. That man's a smart man. We should give him a raise. Uh, which robot vacuum do I use? It's just—I think it's like an Eye Life. It's just—it's like the cheaper version of the I mean, Roomba. I mean, I can—I can pick it up and show it to the audience. He does its job though. Flicker Wisp. What do you blink here? Pima, Rishkar. Ooh. I don't know. And then he makes his Flicker Wisp a tiny bit larger. They still have no cards in hand. Yeah. And we get to play Mole Drifter. That's pretty good. And that gets good. us a lot of cards in our hand. So what we can do is play Koth, negative for four, and then play Mole Drifter. <laughs> huh? <laughs> God, I'm smart. Man, how'd you get so smart, Frank? Years of practice. Flying over the sea. Oh, baby boys. We got a game. If they have, if they draw any removal, we're dead. But, I mean, we have a turn and they're playing green-white deck. So, 
you know, and they also have zero cards. In oh, hand. and they also have to draw, have removal, and be able to activate this in the same turn. So, well, it has to be, I guess they kill them all drift during we die. No, we have two flyers. We're fine. We're totally fine. Listen. Oh, are we showing it to the audience? No, no. I'm just gonna. He's just gonna take a break because he's very loud. I thought it was a she. She. It is she. It's a little dumpling. Oh, what's happening oh, right he's now? He's making mana. Oh, I thought these. I was like, "Are you convoking these? What convoke spell is in this cube? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do you draw? Oh, oh, that's scary. Not really, though. It doesn't destroy creatures, though. Yeah, I don't care if you destroy Koth. He's literally at one. Sure. He served his purpose. I'm just gonna treachery that. Can I do that? And then untap and play Ulamog. Actually, Koth next turn would have probably been able to cast Ulamog, right? One. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. He knew. He. I don't think there's any problem going to one here. I mean, one is basically the same. As right, right when they when they have this board. Give me something for five or six. Okay, an island works works too. One, two, three, four, five. Stealing this big dumb idiot. That was a beautiful song. It was my song about this big dumb idiot. One, two. Three, four, five. Oh, you're going home. She's going home. Oh. I'm actually going to kill this now because... It's... Kill it now. Might as well just get it out of here. It's kind of scary having that much mana. And we have three to three. I think we're just going to attack here. we got to start dealing some damage at some point. Treachery bones connected to the wind bone. Wind bones connected to the chicken bone. Chicken bones connected to the mole bone. Oh, yeah, that's. I you have a very weird human anatomy. If and these are bones, the rules of the bones. So all those bones are connected. This is a really good draw. Ooh! This is probably the best draw we could have asked for when we have when they have string wildwood on boardy. I'm gonna attack with my fish right now. Fish? By fish, I mean chicken. All right, fingers crossed. No removal spells. He has zero cards in hand. Yeah, but they, they're top decking, right? Yeah. Frank, when do you have another Frank's thoughts? I have a one-hour draw to work tomorrow. I was actually going to do one today because of uh, the banning and unbanning announcement. Ooh, that was that was a good announcement. I would have liked to see Chain Whirler have some uh, re repercussions. I think Chain Whirler's fine. Do you, though? Four, five, six... I mean, I also don't play standard, so it has zero impact on we're me. We're gonna pay for this, right? Yeah, I mean, we're not doing anything else right now. It's gonna be real unfortunate when we draw Chandra. Our... Oh, Mountain. See, everybody wins. She's having a bad time. That's okay. You'll figure it out. I'm here for you if you, if you need anything. Oh, I forgot to attack because I skipped the thing because I was looking at little Dumplin'. I'm no longer here for you. Hold on. Please help. Nothing, uh, nothing in standard changed. Correct. The only thing that changed was legacy. And these are the neck bones of life. Uh, I think any format that bans Death Rite Shaman is correct to do so. Yeah, card's very strong. Like, I don't think it's an exaggeration when people call it a one-mana Planeswalker. I think it's very, very good. It's a one-mana Planeswalker that you can't attack. Yeah, it's true. You can't actually attack it either. You can't redirect anything to it. I feel like we're on borrowed time here. Now nah, we're fine. Yeah, they're just going to go natural order. They're, what, they're considering whether they natural order now or not. Yeah, it's fine. We have their natural order payoff target, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I like your, I like your Neo Matrix hand. What can I say? I, I am the one. I know Kung Fu. Opponent top deck gut shot. Yeah, they're like, do I just use this? Is it too soon? Will it trigger his PTSD? <laughs> I don't know. The answer is yes. Good game. It was a really great match with many, with much, many suspense. Thank you for your. Okay, so this is where they kill us, right? Oh, they just concede. <laughs> wow. It was a very good match with much suspense. 
gut shot you. Ooh. <laughs> but it was only game two, right? So we, yeah. we, they would have went to game three. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe you're not saying that because of this. That guy was a good person. Let's shout out that person for being a good person. I would see. Here's the thing. I don't think, and I, I, I mentioned this before. I've actually had a, this whole this whole thing before. Okay. I don't think Chain Whirler by itself is strong enough to get banned. It's a three three for three. It's not super powerful. I mean, it has first strike and it does a, a, a pretty average ability. Yeah. But Chain Whirler puts a deck that it's in over the top. Yeah. When there are eight, what is it, eight or nine, nine red decks in the top eight of the Pro Tour, like that's the format you don't want to cultivate. Ooh. I like the sand a lot. Yeah, that's sweet. We can, we can cast Thirst for Knowledge, get our Grim Monolith in the graveyard. Be nice. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> no I'm the smartest magic player in the world also no oh ancestral vision that's the wrong ancestral bro ooh now we can get our grim monolith in the graveyard faster <laughs> why are you the way that you are I learned everything about magic. No, me, you Frank. didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> I guess we just pass here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. We can make a big fat hanger back. Thirst pitching monolith. That is a got him. <laughs> hey, girl, let me see that hanger back. Brainstorm. Nice deck that just draws cards. Main phase. We're going to kill you. With our Mizium Mortars? No, our big fat hanger back. Wow. Let me see that big fat hanger back. That sounds like an early 90s uh, <laughs> rap song. We also have Lightning Bolt. They're basically dead. I agree. They only have 17 extra life points after this. What what can they possibly do? Do we just thirst here? I mean, not now, but, you know, on their turn. Yeah. I like, I like thirst. You know, get a little sip. <laughs> I want to play this Mox Ruby now, actually, because I don't really feel like getting force spiked here. But we got a Grim Monolith. I don't want to be tapping that. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got three extra mana right there, you dummy. <laughs> Big out, hanger back. Yeah, exactly. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm. I was born ready. Were you born ready? Yeah, dude. I I came out of the womb. I was like, Ooh. wow. They didn't even hesitate. Ooh. Let's get rid of. I like this sword a lot. Yeah, but if we're getting rid of Hangerback Walker, we got nothing to equip it to. I would have discarded that much much more readily. Yeah. You can count this? The thirst for knowledge. That's fine. Gruel Signet. Let me think about it. I'm just going to play a Tanger Rack for two here. And now we can tap the Grand Monolith. Do you want to do that? In case they, uh, they mana leak it. In case they, oh yeah, that's true. Or four spike it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana as well. We're one mana away from uh. Oolamog. Coolamog. <laughs> God, he's amazing. Oh, what really? This is what you want to do with your life? We're gonna get bees now. I call Thopters bees. They're okay, basi- that's fair. Bees. No e tip. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. You just don't know how to use a keyboard. I gotcha. Hat Mike? <laughs> yeah, it's Hat Mike. Hey, everybody. It's your old friend Hat Mike here. You're my new friend Hat Mike, actually. Um. But hopefully we draw manager in next turn. Then we can manager in their ancestor with one island and not have any mana gained. I don't know what that is. What is that? Are you drinking the mana drain? Yeah, dude. We're draining the mana through a straw. I'm not. You might be. Don't tell me what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, You're not my mana dad. Oh, Ooh, look at an island. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten mana. All right, here comes Cool Man, the cool. cool we have ball. ten mana. They have three. <laughs> and and we're beating them with thopters. Bees. Thopter bees. <sighs> That's sound of. I call them bees, and then I never called them bees again. That's what you did, oh. with that voice and everything. Why are you the way that you are? I'm sorry. I sound like that. I am too. All right, draw your three. Go to ten cards. <sighs> Having a little. Hey, drink. do you think maybe he'll hit his land drop off of this? God, I hope so. <laughs> I kind of hope not. I hope not in terms of strategy, but I hope so in terms of this guy's morale. Because, boy, can you imagine just not hitting your third land on turn five, fourth land? I guess they only missed two land drops. I feel like we, I'm like, God, it's got to be like turn eight right now, right? Yeah. No, it's only turn five, I guess. Uh-oh. Is he going to play cough? Oh, he played click. All right, I'm going to kill this. That's good. Actually, I can wait. If I'd, I'd rather them take bolt and then we just use mortars. If they take mortars, we'll, we're just going to use bolt anyway. Yeah. So. And I mean, if we draw Umog, we're casting that regardless. Cause... Correct. And I will definitely hit both of your lands. Both of your four lands. All four of both of your lands. Both them, as the kids say. I don't think any kid has said both them. They say both them. <laughs> Joke is on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got... <laughs> can we draw Ulamog too so then we can treachery into Ulamog? <laughs> Let's let it happen. Let it. Let us live the dream, Magic Online. Come on. Ulamog. Eh. That's actually still pretty good. Yeah. One, two... Now we don't... We don't have to cast that, I guess. Or yeah, why not? Do we want more? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> One, two, three. Give me this stupid idiot. Idiota. Can I have this, please? I'll I bolt it in response. You can't have it. <laughs> you can never have this. You can never have this. Steal their B. <laughs> We're doing it. It's happening. Yeah, th this is just bee wars, man. They got bees. We got bees. Oh, he's paid life for something. Wow. Real cool. Real cool guy did a cool guy thing. Did they, though? Well. Well, I'm going to be riding all day. I'm still going to kill your land. <laughs> is that correct? That's correct, right? Uh, I mean... Yeah, probably correct. They did draw a bunch of cards. I'm not sure, like, ta well, it's too late now, but I'm not sure, like, tapping down our monolith is fine, but we have so much extra One, mana. two, three, four, five. Yeah. We have seven mana. The only thing we can't cast is... Ulamog. Ul Ulams. Spoolamog. Real, real cool, Ulamog. Please don't say I'm gonna be riding all day. <laughs> too late. It's already been said. Wow. And they gushed? Joke's on me, I guess. He drew a lot of cards in the past actual one turn. This is a good trade. I'll trade one B for one... One B. One B for one B. Anything that has one toughness and flies is a B. Also, if we draw any land, we can untap this and pay for the, the, the kick. The kick. One kick. Frank, please don't say... I like to play the trooper. I'm not going to say it. You can't trick me, buddy. A one B... <laughs> Alright, so we need to have an island in hand. <laughs> That's all we know, I think. We know one of seven. One of eight. One of eight, which is even worse. It just keeps getting worse, man. I don't know. I don't think our opponent's deck is very good. They haven't done anything. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Huh. Land, so I can untap. All right. Well, I actually didn't want to land. I mean, I, I was like, land is useful because I have something to do with it. But it's not really the ideal thing yeah. to draw. Look, we're, we're going to beat them with this bee and this guy riding on a rock. Rock, go rock rider. That's how rock riders roll. Shut them down, open up shop. It's a rock rider meme. Oh. It's a rough rider meme, I guess. My brother-in-law doesn't believe that you this is live. Can you say, hi, Evan, you dirty Mitch? He doesn't believe this is live. That's very weird. Like, Does he not know how Twitch works? Live? What sorcery is this? <laughs> Get out of the 
It's a little box, man. <laughs> Not on my internet. Mm. Pip, pip, good sir. What year do you think this is? Oh, he gave us a target. That's all I've ever <laughs> wanted. Who was Avalanche Rider picture of uh, Darwin Castle? And now we're going to untap our Grimmy. And then we're going to... Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, boy, huh? No, my white mana. How am I going to cast my spells? You're not. I'll never let you. I can't believe we're winning with one Thopter token and, a, and a, a, an Echo paid Avalanche Rider. I think it's a cute mana drain. Boy, that's OP. It is very OP. We're actually denying them quite a bit of resources with this uh, this Avalanche Rider, this Manic Vandal. Their own negligence to draw a third land. Oh, here we go. You ready? It's fine. Storming out. It's fine. Down the street. Hey, Hipster Mike. Oh, man, you got Hipster Mike again. Yeah, it's... Uh, li listen, man, I, I've got a wool cap. Got thick rim glasses. Got an ironic shirt. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was hilarious. You felt pretty sheepish after you teased him about Twitch. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it together, brother-in-law. Did you say a name? Whoa. Hey. Is it Evan? Was it Evan? It was Evan. What? Really? Um. Wow, Mike, you look great. You slimmed down a bunch, hitting that gym. Also, when did you get glasses? I've always had these glasses, and I'm hurt. So I'm just going to redirect it to them? Oh, they added like a million mana? Sure. And then they're going to redirect it to us. And then we're going to go, okay. Okay, they didn't. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> It's really Mind's Desire. Sure. For like, what, three? Four? Yeah, he's getting four things. I'll, I'll counter the one I care about. Turnabout? No. Island? Nope, that's not it. We're not going to counter that. Is it Charm? Nope. Probably not. Time Walk will get countered. <laughs> that one will not resolve. Are they not going to cast him? We're just going to go second main? Intriguing. Oh. Sure. Are they going to tap my lands down? No. Okay, good. I was like, wow, that would have been great. Ooh. Dodged a bullet there. Sure. I only have two cards in hand, though. I can't imagine that they didn't, like... They're not completely done. Starbucks Mike, Stoner Mike, wow, but he's not a. I, I don't. I he, don't do the marijuana. He doesn't partake of the of the devil's weed. <laughs> oh, hacky sack Mike, I like that. I did play a lot of hacky sack in high school. He doesn't partake of the Kush, the purple Kush, <laughs> the purple Nurple, <laughs> the sticky icky. Man, you know a lot about about the drugs i lived in seattle man there's dispensaries everywhere oh that's right it was it resolved storm count is eight now brainstorm me oh just a main phase pester might <laughs> <You're really sh> <laughs> <laughs> that's a real i'll show you move <coughs> got him no one's casting ulamog today oh i see you are brainstorming me for 30 cards are we dead okay. oh it's not the shuffle ulamog that's so sad no. That's hilarious. They had to have Brainstorm and Mines is Iron Hand. That's Brain amazing. Freeze. Brain Freeze, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we're dead. I'm not going to sit here and play this out. Wow, that's so funny that we were ahead at pretty much every point of this game. And, yeah, until they did their, did their bull honky. All right. We need a way to not lose to that. I don't know what it could be. Um, hmm. There's really no way to, we're to stop that either. Like, yeah. Like we were just done though. If we had, if we had like good shuffle effect, like Ulamog. actually no, we were we could have actually counted the turnabout. That would have actually changed the game. Yeah. Because then they wouldn't have had mana, so they would have had to just cast time warp and time walk and gone to the next turn with two cards. And they wouldn't have had. Yeah, that's that's probably where we're that would have cost the game. That yeah. would have changed the game. But I mean, like, I didn't assume they'd have Mind's Desire and time and brain freeze in hand. So yeah. 
Side into green and Eureka? I mean, we don't have that many... Yeah, I mean, what are we Eureka Eureka ing for? I guess like Muldrifter and Storm Breath and like Hangerback Walker. <laughs> I don't hate it though. I feel like I should dislike it more than I do. They also don't have a, a tremendous amount of creatures. It seems like we saw Vendillion Click and yeah. Pestermite. Yeah, but those are those aren't really creatures. Those are literally spells. I want to bring Grim Lava Mance over Museum Mortars. Yeah. I like that. Um, Eureka does do nothing for Storm, though. I mean, if we bring in the Storm package, or the Eureka package, it's actually not... Let's see what happens. Alright, let's do it. We get Arbor Elf. Alright, I like that guy. We can take out Azoria Signet for Celestia Signet. Yep. Take out the Thirst. We can bring in a Temple Garden, because we can search for it with Wear Tear. Uh, take out these guys. Take out the Hangerback Walker. Bring in Slime, Master, Eureka, Garrick, because he's a permanent. This is 33 cards. What? No, none of you. What? None of you. Seven. And then we have about the same. Uh, we can bring in Jeroka, too, actually. I like that. And just cut one of the forests. Uh, one of the... Yeah, let's do this. This looks... Let's let's hope for this, the, the, the gas Eureka hand. This is, this is, I don't know how I feel about this hand, actually. I feel it's like... pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's not doing anything. Like, we're hoping for two land drops to do nothing. This I'll keep, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Transform from swole mic to hat mic. I'll keep you. Just because we'll have double green now. And then we can slime time them. We can slime time them. Vandal could be good, but like... Who knows? It was barely good that last game. I feel like we can take two here to play Monolith, just because yeah. it lets us play Acidic Slime next turn. And that's that's a good boy turn. That is a good boy turn. <laughs> a GBT, if you will. Slime Evil Titan, that's not really the same. Basically same guy. Do we see any counter spells? Oh. Well, that's a gentleman, isn't it? Every day slime is getting close and love like a coaster. Gonna slime and kill your steam vents now. How, 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 how. Anything cool going on? So, uh, we also have to stream tomorrow, because I told Dave, my uh, my friend, that we'd stream tomorrow. Okay. I stream every day, too, yeah. so. Um, and uh, I posted that advertisement, and he goes, what the hell, man? It's not Tuesday. I was lied to. What's Tuesday? What happens on Tuesday? Well, he's off tomorrow. <laughs> You're and streaming a day he's not even off, man? It's messed up. Yeah. And then he's and then someone else is chiming in, and he goes, how am I supposed to watch this when I'm at work? It's can't question. have Switch on here. You can't and switch at work? No. People get too distracted. A game? Listen, man. It's interesting. <laughs> it's real <laughs> strange to me. Ooh. I think I'm I'm more actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. I <laughs> Almost. Has a, I has a sadness. I guess we just play this again, right? Wait, again, do we play it already? Oh, I mean use the monolith again. Yeah. That's okay. what I meant. One. Yeah. This guy's kind of mediocre. I don't care if you have a port or not. Yeah. I like hitting him in the face with a Storm Breath Dragon over and over again. And Me then, too. And then if we untap that Grimondle... Then we get to kick. He's just dead. Kick it. Kick it! Nick actually works for TCG Player, funny enough. I do work for TCG Player. It's right up in Syracuse, New Yorkums. <laughs> I don't think that's what anyone calls New York. Uh, everyone calls it New Yorkums. Now I'm real tempted to untap this, but I'm also tempted to just play Magus. I think I like untapping better. Yeah, me too. Whoop! Yeah, that's fine. We were gonna guys that guy anyway. Alright. Oh, wow, did they just F6 their turn? I think so. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Freebie.
Oh, maybe we should have done this. Actually, we no, we can't. Wow, maybe we should have done that instead. That would have been probably better. I think that would have actually killed them. Oh, what a uh, monster! Yes, like, yeah, he'd be dead because he'd take seven and be dead. Actually, I don't actually want to play this. Yeah, it cuts off our green source. Well, yeah, and it cuts off. Well, it cuts off the white source as well. Yep, that would have been better. Better play. But I mean, like, if they have to win this turn now, and they probably will, that was so bad. That's yeah, fine. It's because I'm talking to you. I'm ta We're talking about jobs. We're talking about everything. Talking about jobs. You got to win this turn, which means they will. Kill us or you're dead. That's so stupid. I played an Arbor Elf of all things. If it was like a Koth or like a cool card, I'd be like, oh wow, that's awesome. But they could have also had like a deal four in response though. So or like a bounce spell in response. I mean he's not doing anything, so. So we killed him. He's just asleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh god, we're still so close. Doesn't matter, we're gonna monstrous that guy and kill him. Yeah, but if they have an answer to this guy, it's really bad. Well monstrous in response. So they don't have to play it. They I know they have an answer. It's gonna be so backbreaking. Oh, they didn't have an answer. He's dead. They just take seven. He's all right it's pretty good we did it we killed him dead. hey that's pretty good was that your phone no, i that thought was, that was your phone yeah that was my phone what a tease man green cards op green cards are op i've been trying to say that for years i wonder if we just genesis wave what are we what are we do? all of our permanents are like like so cheap all right. Yeah, you know what? I was I was not on board, but then I was like, we got a Mox and we got a Grim Monolith. We've had like eight eight to nine. We had nine mana at least every game because we either have Ulamog mana or we've had like nine. Yeah, let's do it, man. And Genesis Fig for six is pretty good. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna forty one. I don't even care. I like it. I live dangerously, bro. I am also a dangerous. You are a danger. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because if we just <laughs> hit a bunch of cool shit, we're in good shape. Even if we hit an Ulamog off the top, turn two Eureka into Ulamog is pretty pretty good enough. Yeah, it's muy bueno. That's not what we're looking for. We could also Eureka on turn two and just put four lands into play. That seems like a winning a winning strategy. Yeah, I mean against against the storm opponent who's like, ooh. Won you, bro. One, two, so we just go. Hey, this guy gets it. Okay, that's enough lands now. Do we Eureka and put all the lands in play? It's tempting because of Genesis Wave. Yeah, like. I kind of want to do that be like because we have Genesis Wave, so we get to Genesis Wave for what, four next turn? Five. One, two, three, four, oh, five, yeah, six, right. seven, eight. We'll have eight total mana. But then if we hit a land, we can do it for six. But I mean, if we, like, it gives us eight lands, we can play anything yeah. in our deck. But we can also pretty much do that already. Right. I think we can just pass here. I think six is the sweet spot. Ancestral Vision, that's pretty good. I like a turn fought for Ancestral Vision. Is this real? <laughs> are we having a, are, is this a... Is this a real thing right here? One, two, one, two three, four, five, six. I say let's just do it. You want to just Eureka here? Like, I don't think they're going to have any permanents in hand except for, like, lands. Yeah, like, I was going to say, like, is, yeah, like, I think it's going to benefit us in the long run because of, like, Genesis Wave. I'll put a force into play. If they pass and put nothing into play, then we're going to also put nothing into play, which is... Yep, done. Cool. Oh, they put land... They're putting lands into play? All right, sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana now, so we can actually... Ruby, Genesis Wave for, for six next turn. If we hit a land, we can do it for seven. 
Which also means we can just hard cast in Ulamog. Sure. Just be a good boy and don't counter it. You hear? They did not. You. Wow, three lands, a Signet, and a Chandra. It's going to be Ulamog, you ready? Goodbye. Goodbye, Ulamog. Yeah, that's fine. We can play it. <laughs> Shuts off our wide source. We have a Boros Signet. Shuts off their third red in case they have Kiki. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. That's a... eh, It doesn't do anything, I guess. Shuts off their fifth blue in case they have Cryptic Man <laughs> plus Force Spike. Or, no, they can still do that. You mean like Cryptic oh. plus Mystic Confluence? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Ulamog? Nope. That guy's good, too. I just feel like we're not really doing anything this game, which is unfortunate. We're giving them a lot of time. It's fine. It's not. They're probably going to... Well, they have two turns until Ancestral goes off, so they're probably not going to combo until the Ancestral. Yeah. So we just hold that. We have Thirst, so... And then uh, we're going to activate Grim Monolith to shock him. Right? We have a Grim Monolith? Or a Grim Lava Mancer. Yes. That's what I mean. We have, our deck is very grim. That's true. We do have multiple Grimmies. Let's get rid of Searing Spear and Eureka. Make a wolf boy. How? That's a wolf boy. That does nothing. Ulamog. Can we Ulamog one time? Yeah, that's actually... A... I like that guy. Is this lethal? And we have a lightning bolt for him. I think this is actually lethal. Four or five. Ten. And we have, we have five extra damage. Yeah, yeah, this is way more than enough. How did our deck win? How did we win this game? Why can't I? Why isn't it letting me do this? Do I have an... Is there an ability on the board that's not letting me activate this? Oh, there's not enough cards in the graveyard. I was like, oh, why can't I do this? All right, there you go. You're dead. Why can't I activate my Grim Monolith? And if for some reason they're able to counter this or get Grim Lava Mancer off the board, how do they do both? They get a Mystic Confluence bounce counter? Sure. But then we're actually I'm actually gonna wear tear my own mocks and then and then do it again. Ooh. You're smart. That's the tech. How'd you get to be so smart? I've uh, I, I devoted 20, 20 years of my life to this game. Oh man. It wasn't an easy choice. Draw two, then discard two. All right, man. Keep keep digging. Are they gonna Are they gonna storm off right now? Because if they do, we'll just kill our thing and then kill them. Correct. We also don't have to draw a card, so six mana. I don't know what's going on. A lot of things. So you have to counter. You still have to counter this and get rid of Grimlock Mancer. Turnabout. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to respond to that. Yeah. You have two mana. Like, you have to be able to do both things. So, choose target artifact. I'll choose you. So, you have to have counterspell and removal spell right now. Yeah. You dead? Is he dead? God, I want it to feel like they're dead. Just grim him and end this. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make it so that they have the least possible options. Just be dead, please. No more being You alive. cannot use your opponent's graveyard for Lava Mancer. That would be utterly insane. Grim Lava Mancer would see a lot more modern play because then you could actually exile their, their Tarmogoyf cards. Yeah, it's exile two cards from your graveyard. That would be utterly insane. It would be very good. Draw what three. All right, so you have one card. We have one, one card... They could force of will. It does. This is on the it stack does, now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like they're they're done. I don't know what what they're doing. They're donezo bunzo. 
Even if you brain like the, the, if they could they could potentially brain freeze and then force us to draw after that, mm. which would be utterly insane. And I would actually be super impressed. Like if they have like brain freeze for a million and then force us or uh, hey, ancestral hey, recall us. Arctic is too well right now. Yeah, dude. Because expert craftsmanship. We started with Caw. <laughs> That's Ro- actually Caw did win us that game. Yeah. Those extra four points were relevant. They would have been at six instead. I bought this knife recently. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Um, It's funny you should ask that. I'm glad you're here today. Oh, hey. Are <laughs> you, you going to remove my hat? I don't need a knife to do that, Nicholas. <laughs> Prove it. Okay, maybe I do need a knife. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, that thing is really on there. Yeah. Call from the band hammer. Get get our opponents out of here. That's. <laughs> they should make they should make a card in Magic that says if you lose to this card, you're banned and from you Magic. Yeah, you can't play anymore. And then <laughs> you when you go not to, allowed to go to when you, when you turn in the sheet, you're the the judge actually bans you. They they remove your name from the DCI. Yeah, they they take your DCI card and rip it up in front of you. Yeah, and then spit on it. And, and they if they don't, if you don't have your DCI card with you, they spit on you instead. That thing is crusted on there. Classic hacky sack, Mike. <laughs> it's funny how no one who comes on the stream has any identity of their own anymore. They're, they're just Mike. They're all just Mike variations. Hey. Ooh, hey. You ready? Yeah, dude. Let's win. This, is, this guy's 202, right? Uh- 202? No, 202? That, that, that's too many wins. That's too many. That's too many games? That's too many games, I yeah. Like, I, I'm not feeling this hand, but, like, I kind of like it. I, I'm right there. I'm like, it's got good. If this is a standard match, yeah. I would probably keep this hand. Yeah, but, like, when our opponent's going to be like, oh, Mox, Time Walk. Ancestral kill you. And I'm yeah. like, oh, wow, that was good. I don't know how you killed me, but that was impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're Frank Mike. God, what do we do? Do we just, do we ship it? This guy's a mulligan, right? Yeah, like, we're already at six with that guy at our head. This is better. Yeah, this is... It's got things we can play. Mox, Mox, Mox. Yeah, I'll still keep it. That's kind of like a Mox. It's kind of like a Mox. I'm probably not going to keep it, though. I'm probably just going to crack it and get Steam Vents. Oh, dude, that's that's good. Thank you. That's good words. Planes? Uh Uh-oh. Gross. No one cares about... (gasps) We have... I I always get excited about Manic Vandal, but then I'm like, oh, you're probably just going to put it on the top. Yeah, it is impossible to remove from the battle. Hey, we got it anyway. Obnoxious. I'm not representing Counterspell right now. That's smart. You're representing Reverberate. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Target move something. I dare you. I'll copy it. You can't stop me. Oh, so Mike gets off work at like 1230 now. Um, I don't know what your sleep schedule is like, but we were thinking about going to like Perkins after he gets off because like he usually gets food. And Oh, what? Me? Yeah. I thought you were talking to chat. No, no, no. Obviously you, because... I thought um, you were inviting the whole chat to Perkins. I was like, wow, that's real nice. I'm going to just Manic Vandal because... Actually, yeah, that's fine. Because it's a target, and if they want to draw it and replay it next turn, that's totally fine. Yeah, and then we get pressure. Um, Yeah, Midnight? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my my sleep schedule is kind of all out of whack because... Well, because I figure it's going to be hard to, like, actually spend any time with Mike because of his stupid work schedule, like, 4 to 12.30 or whatever it is. Yeah, no, that sounds cool. I love Perkins. I'll give me a big muffin... It's the only kind they have, buddy. It's so big. I like this. Oh look- God, he's show and telling. And we're gonna put in a Magus of the Moon. <laughs> huh. Oh, we're one turn away. I don't think we're gonna win this game. Also, if this was in our hand, we could have been like, "Give me that. Give me that boy." Or a girl. It's a girl, right? Emrakul's a girl. She's a lady. Frank wears that hat. I'm in for 35 if that happens. Next step. I would 100% wear that hat for 30 for, for a step. All right. That is hilarious. All right. Let's is see. It, is it clean, though? Yeah. All right. I trust you. Yeah. You don't look like a dirty dude. I'm, I'm not a dirty man. You used to be dirtier. I think you've cleaned up your act a little yeah. bit. And your beard is well-groomed, too. Yeah. It could be better. Yeah, but, like, your mustache is super trim. Yeah. Like, so a lot of people have mustaches, and they just come, they hang out over the lips. Yeah. And it makes me so uncomfortable. I'm like, because I know when I personally don't groom my mustache, um, it feels really weird to yeah. me. I mean, we're we're dead, right? Like, we're... We have exactly six perms. I'm going to just see. See how if there's we a were... Yeah, all right, we're dead. <laughs> if there was a mox, we'd be, like, so close. 
<laughs> if this, I was like, if this is frantic search and we had a mox on top. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, f- uh, was face 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 fighter stops on recall, right? I don't. Yes, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in this temple garden. <laughs> and we're bringing the Celestia signet for the gruel signet. It actually does. That's really interesting. Um, we didn't... Flintstone copy doesn't stop Femrical, right? <laughs> it does not stop Femrical. That's what you said, right? Femrical? Uh, Accidentally, perhaps? Possibly. Okay. 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 Oh, Jesus. Uh, Emrakul's a card that you see it and you're like, huh. That's what might stop Emrakul for a turn, right? It actually does. We actually did win... Against an active Ulamog because we were able to tap it down. I think it's I think it's just better than something like um, Manic Vandal here. Yeah. Ugh, crying out loud. Sure. How do you feel about this attack, Frank? I felt better about it in the first two rounds. Where's our Mox, man? Mox, man. Mox, man, where are you? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to keep this because why, there's... Why did we mulligan that hand? I didn't like that hand. It didn't do anything. Yeah, Pester might. You, you're, you're, actually, treachery is really good because if they want to do some show and tell sh- shenanigans, oh, yeah, give it to me. We can untap our lands. Well, no, we can just put it into play and steal their emerald. Right, and we can untap our lands. Oh, is that not how that no, works? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. It's colored spells. Like once it's in the battlefield, it's permanent. Yeah, that's it's not how. Emerald. That's not how emerald works. Because that's an. It's just an ability when Emer- when uh when like for face fetters and treachery. Oh, come on, really. It's fine. We have treachery, so like he's gonna. What are you doing? He's... Oh, catch things. I don't care about that guy. There we go. Oh, that's right. Actually, face fetters does go on the stack. It does. It's. it's fa... We're thinking of oblivion ring because oblivion ring is a triggered ability. Face fetters is not. So that's actually yeah. correct. Oh god. Oh. Oh, for red. Was he? Oh, oh man. Are you for real? You got them both. Wow. wow! <laughs> All righty then. Yeah, all right. You got it. Well, that's the thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, give 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 some props to to Hat Mike in the in the in the comments. Yeah. And uh, you can check me out on Patreon or my Twitch profile. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.